Hey guys, we just got this these tables from Tavis Lot. We thank Dave for sending them out to us. Uh, we're gonna open them up and we're gonna assemble them. Show you how to assemble it, and uh, it's gonna make our projects a little bit easier to build, more flat. Uh, it's like the tolerance of the table is gonna be more flat and uh, precise. pretty much build this table anywhere. You don't really have to have a flat surface. We're going to show you that. We just got these two by fours. We're going to lay them on top of our table that we already built. Um, we're going to lay, up, lay the table up here and build it. So you'll kind of see that it doesn't have to be perfectly flat where you build it. Ours is a, a three by four, so you got one that's the three foot side, one that's the four foot side. These with the holes cut out, they go in the middle section, and the ones with the holes, which because since we got the uh, the fab block, we also have holes on the side, uh, so these will go on the outside. So. start with the short side and you'll just click it in right here pretty easy just lay it in
do, you want to make sure you got a good solid fit there. Good tight gap. No gap. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to tack here, all four corners, and then we'll move our clamps to the center, pull it in, and kind of clamp it, clamp it all the way down, and all the way across. Skip around, you know, weld here, maybe here. Just skip around different spots where you won't get no warpage. Uh, but it's pretty, it's pretty tight already. So you got a lot of structure under there. So you know, it take a lot of warpage. <laughs>
got our uh, Serta flat table, uh, lab block. We also ordered the uh, leg kit. It comes with a uh, space plate. It's got these uh, cutouts in it. And also the tube is cut out, so you can, it's pretty, you can only really go one way, so. Um, what that does is you just slide that in there, everything lines up. You just wanna make sure you got that good and flat when you go to attack it and weld it, because if you got it like that, your leg's gonna be crooked, so do it like that. And also on this thing, it's for the caster. So you just, same way, you know, you just, Put it on, get it good and flat. And you can, what we do on these, we just like to put a little weld on the inside because our caster, it has like a round circle if, so it won't interfere with it. So here we go, we're gonna put them together. This is uh, the casters that come with it. They're swivel 360, and they also lock in any position, so that makes it easier. So if you need to lock it somewhere, uh, you ain't gotta worry about it rolling away from you uh, if you're prying or doing something. So here we go, we're gonna put it up here. Uh, you can see where we welded at earlier. Uh, you can see the circle, so it should just fit right up there, no problem, so you shouldn't have that to worry about. Um, it comes with these carriage head bolts. Make sure you put the carriage head like that because if not, your wheel will hit the nut if you put it on that side. got our tables all finished up it'll take about between an hour to two hours it just depends on the size and, and how comfortable you are at welding and stuff we bought we got two of them and an extension so it makes our table uh, four by seven so it's pretty cool we got plenty of surface it's it's real flat and uh, so go check them out at tabandslot.com and also we got we got a next project coming up. It's a drift track we're building, so it's going to be fun. Uh, so, yeah, stay tuned.